Hey there, welcome to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Tonight, we've got something special. We have a craft supply shopping haul from the wreath shop. So let's take a peek at what I got and what I did with a fall swag at the end. I know, I don't usually start my videos out this way and this is a bonus video for you guys, but I just wanted to show you how big this box was. And now I'm gonna show you what's in it. This is a haul from the wreath shop. Okay, so I'm opening this box. Number one, guys, I pay for everything that came today, all right? So that's just a disclaimer. I will have a um, affiliate link for each of the items in the description box. But guys, listen, when you purchase something from the reshop and you use my link, I do, it's an affiliate link, so that means I get a little bit back. You pay nothing extra, but it's how you can support my YouTube channel, and I really appreciate it because I have to buy it all the supplies for what you see every single week here on YouTube. So one of the first things I bought, let's take this out. Ooh, this is pretty. I love this. I bought two of these snowflake swags and these are so pretty and they're just really, really nice. And so you're just gonna like fluff them out. You can put ribbon and ornaments and these are great for outside. I just think that's really pretty. I am excited about that. And if you want, you could even layer them and make them even longer if you want. So that is gorgeous. Again, I will leave the link down below. The next thing I got was this beautiful white wreath. I, I just thought this was really pretty because it was there was no greenery showing and it's just really flocked very, very nicely. And it has some really different dimensions of, um, oh, not greenery, but you know, the the evergreens. So you're just going to take it and you're just going to um, fluff it up. But this is so pretty. I love it. And what's really cool is the reshop does have sales from time to time. And um, make sure you're on their mailing list so you can find out when those sales are. Let me get the paper here. So this is the 24 inch white flocked pine wreath. So again, I will try, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the links down below and understand that prices might vary so you know but this is so pretty you could add some beautiful florals beautiful ribbon to this and it's just going to be beautiful so i really think that's really pretty so all right before you say julie is this going to be all christmas no it's not would you look at this beautiful grapevine wreath i honestly have never seen one that thick that has to be at least four inches wide at the minimum and this one is a 14 inch grapevine wreath i bought two of them let me show you the second one and these were a really good price um i can't remember it right off but i'll probably try to put this on the screen this is phenomenal i really love this i think this would be pretty to have matching florals and ribbons but i like to have grapevine wreaths in stock so that I can grab it and I can make something on the fly. I just really love it. So, um, Sarah, I really, really love your new grapevine wreath. This is something new with the wreath shop, so make sure to check that out. Okay, so the next thing was a total impulse buy on my own because I really, you know, you guys know I moved into a new house last year. In my dining room and my kitchen, I still haven't really put, like, um, curtains and stuff up because I have different kinds of windows and I'm like, I'm at a loss for what to do. But I saw Sarah use this on a mantle and I'm like this, I'm going to put this over my window. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this at the end of this video. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I put this up. But I got two of these because they were such a great deal and I love the gold flowers and I think it will look beautiful in my um, kitchen. But you could also do this. You could take one of these and literally just make your own wreath with this and zip tie it down. Maybe add a few more florals and you've got a beautiful wreath. So this is great. You could probably get, oh man, almost two of these, but I would probably get to buy two of these and then use the excess to kind of put in and out. Okay, so let's talk florals that I got. I saw these really pretty. I'm 
you know, if give me a good greenery and I will stock up on it because I like to have these types of things around and you'll see that when we do our craft room, the studio tour here. Um, but I love to have a supply of really nice greenery and this is beautiful. I'm not really sure what it's called. It'll come like this and then you'll just kind of, you know, fluff it out. But I really, I think that's really, really pretty. Then, oh my goodness, this blue, these little flowers were so pretty. And I just was like, I gotta have that. I just, I don't, you don't see this color in flowers very often. So I really, really like that. And I grabbed some of these like chrysanthemums because, you know, you could always use some good fall flowers. So these are beautiful. I love the variegation in the leaf there. And it's so, so nice. Okay, are, are those not gorgeous? When I was in Dallas earlier this year, I saw so many of these. And Sarah was ahead of the game and had some of these last Christmas. And you can actually get these even bigger. And like in jewel tones, like blues and emeralds. And I wanna say um, pink as well. I have some pink ones. But let me tell you, I am so excited. I think these, number one, they look beautiful on a wreath, of course. Absolutely would stun it up. But I also love that for my uh, Christmas tree too. So I might need to order a few more of these, Sarah. Save me some. Okay, so now we're gonna get back to Christmas. And I brought two rolls of this really pretty red and emerald green mesh. Isn't that beautiful? This is like a new style of mesh. They, ju they just call it like a deco poly mesh. And I got two rolls. It has 10 yards in it. It's 10 inches wide. And this is just really nice. You can cut this with a wood burner, which I really, really love. And I just think it will make a beautiful wreath. I'm not sure what we're going to do, if we're going to do a flower or just like a poof wreath or something. But again, beautiful, Sarah. I love this. And I saved this for last because if you're a crafter of any kind, then you love ribbon. And the ribbon can be an obsession. And <laughs> let's see, I have, I bought 12 I bought 12 rolls of ribbon. Do I need more ribbon? You might ask. No, Julie, you do not need more ribbon. But like I said, it's a hobby all in itself. And how can you, how can you turn this down? Like, look at this ribbon. So the nice thing about the reshop is um, the ribbon is always good quality ribbon. You're, you just can't go wrong. And I don't think I've ever gotten a roll that's not 10 yards. And I love it when a roll is 10 yards, simply because you can make so many bows and do so many things with a 10 yard roll of ribbon, okay? So um, I love pink. If you've seen my office, if you've seen the studio, glimpses of it, you're gonna see a lot of pink. And this mauve color is just perfect for my Christmas tree in my office. So you will be seeing more of this. So again, I will leave all the links for these down in the descriptions box below. Hopefully she still has some in stock. Um, another trend that I'm seeing is a velvet right now. So let's just look at all the different velvet options that I got here. I'm telling you, these are so luxurious. So we've got a um, one and a half with a satin background. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And it's got a nice wire. I'm getting ready to make a bow video. It'll probably come out before this one, or I don't know, but um, just know that you're going to be seeing this ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? I just, you can't go wrong with that. And this would be beautiful for Valentine's Day too. That's what I love about it. Um, the next one I got, they're rolling everywhere, is this beautiful like ivory and gold. Is that not beautiful? I'm serious. That is so beautiful. Again, I will leave you the link down below. And this is like the color of Christmas right now. Um, I got the honor or pleasure to go to um, Craig Bachman in um, Chicago, and I got to see everything that they had to offer. And you walk into this room of ribbon, and it is amazing. So all this ribbon probably came from them. Is that, oh my goodness, is that not just the most beautiful ribbon? Seriously. And I saw a lot of the four inch when I went to Dallas um, this year. 
um, at the um, Dallas market to see like what were the trends gonna be. So this is so popular. And again, guys, you can reuse this ribbon over and over in your Christmas decorating. That would be amazing on a beautiful tree. And then of course, blue, this it's like a navy. It's just like not royal blue, but it feels like royalty. But it's definitely a navy blue and it's, it's just fabulous. It is so well made, I love it. And then we got, this is another, this is more of a, um, oh, I forget what this is called. It's got like little snow at the ends and you just can't go wrong. I'm gonna, we've got some on there, over there. But this is the kind of ribbon that you use for Christmas and then whatever you have left over, you use for Valentine's Day. I love this, you can't go wrong. And it's always good I, a good idea to have, to put different sizes together when you're making a beautiful bow. And again, if you need any bow ideas, check my channel out. I will leave the link for my bow videos down below. This is another one. It's a more of a fabric, but it's got that shimmer. It's got, it, honestly, it has the glitter without the glitter getting all over you. You know how it is. You go to Sam's Club or Costco and you get their glitter wreath or glitter ribbon and you, you're literally wearing rib glitter everywhere for days. This is not gonna do that to you. It's, it might have a little bit of a shed, but as you can see, it's not getting on my table. So beautiful. And then I got these two. I got the four inch and the one and a half inch. And so what I'll do is I will put like one, a two and a half inch in between these. And again, would you look at, it's just, I cannot, I wish I could just like say, feel this and just feel how wonderful and luxurious and it's got such great structure to it. So that's amazing. And then um, I got this really pretty because we're not done with fall yet. So that's just beautiful. And a, a lot of trees, this is the trends I'm seeing in Christmas is using all sorts of colors for your Christmas decorating. And so that is just beautiful fall or Christmas. And then um, another trend that I'm seeing as well is this really pretty, I think this is seven eighths. So that's less than an inch and adding this little ribbon in your wreaths and your decor is a very popular trend that you're gonna see more of. And then of course I got this because look at that. That is such a beautiful, it's like a linen with wire. Everything has wire in it. And it's like a linen ribbon and it's so, so pretty. And like for everyday wreaths and everything, I love to keep this kind of thing in stock all the time. So this is how it turned out. All I did was put a few nails at the very top of my bay window. I've not done any curtains yet, so this was the perfect fix for me. And I'm gonna do this at Christmas time too. So stay tuned and I loved how it turned out. And make sure you go shop the re shop. The link is in the description box below and I had so much fun with it. See you next time, bye-bye.